with Dennis Sutton, Paul McCarthy, friends of mine. My name is Kevin Allen. I'm a guitar player for many, many years. Since I'm 16, I'm going to be 70. Dennis has brought me this lovely guitar that he's built, his first one. I'm going to be brutally honest, which is the only way to be when it comes to reviewing guitars. And we're going to give it a bar stool pizza review. But we're going to give it a number from 1 to 10 when I'm done. So the guitar itself, oh, more about myself. We're here at my uh, music school where we have lots of students that come and go. Dennis is a former student. Paul used to teach here. And uh, so he asked me for my opinion on this guitar, which I'm going to give my opinion. But first to play it. Uh, <laughs> Because I like to look at my guitars as little wings that I use to fly around in music. This guitar plays very nice. Uh, the, the frets uh, look like they're suffering from a little winter weather, but nothing that can't be addressed and fixed. Uh, the neck feels a little tight, especially up here. But uh, whoever crowned the frets did a good job. Did you crown these frets? Yes, then? I did. You did a very nice job. Wow, thank you. Um, a little heavy for my taste, but. Um, Excellently finished. Uh, the neck is uh, a neck you didn't make the neck, right? No. It's a neck you bought. But uh, the machine has a good, it holds good tune. There's some issues here with the pickup. It'll be a little louder. I'm not a big fan of these giant, um, these are like, you know, Megadeth pickups. You know, they'll <laughs> blow you up. They're so big. I, I like pickups that are a little bit not, less output because they seem to have more tone. We got some definitely some very cool graphics on this, which I like. And uh, all in all, the guitar is a very nice player. Got a lot of tone, which is good. Really sweeps well. I'm not a fan of these, as I told Dennis earlier. When you put it in the back, it, you can't get at it. So probably short of things. Um, other than that, I mean, the guitar is really good. I, I This neck... It's like a C-neck. Uh, I'm a V-neck guy, but I'm sure, you know, if you're having a guitar built in, you're gonna, I mean, you can always more or less decide on the neck choice. Mm -hmm. So when you buy these custom guitars, you have to really do your homework and make sure mm -hmm. that you... Uh, oh, I have different neck shapes. Right, different uh, neck shapes. You have right. to pick your neck. I got to talk to the client right, or so whatever. That right. has no reflection on the quality of the instrument. Thank you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To me, the guitar plays well. The reason why I don't like heavy guitars, and not that this is really heavy, um, it's in between. I've had, this is very light. This is a, a, a very cheap guitar, but it's very, very light, so it's a fun guitar to play. This is somewhere in the middle. Uh, probably a lot like uh, you'd get off the, uh, the, the rack if you were to go to guitar center. It's usually when I go into these music stores, the first thing I do is I, I feel the weight. Mm -hmm. If it's very heavy, I don't even pull them down. Because usually they, if it's very heavy, uh, I find that they just don't resonate well. But Dennis has sent me uh, an article saying that's not true. But I don't know. I, I don't read articles. I just play them and know what I like. And that's how that goes. Okay. If I was to give this um, one strum, everybody knows the rule. I mean, this guitar, you can tell, has very good intonation. Over here. Don't forget 007. 
Huh? Oh, 007 is this. Right, the minor major nine. But this A minor chord, they usually use in this tune. this instrument from 1 to 10, I'd, I'd like to say it's definitely around an 8 for me, which is an excellent score. And the reason why I say that That's is... That's a low 8, though. Huh? That's a low 8, right? Well, eight, I'll give you an 8-1. I'll give you an 8-1. Okay. It's not a 10. It's not a 10, all right? A 10 to me is like you can't put it down. Okay. All right? I mean, I like to play this guitar, but um, it does play well. It needs some other issues. I think uh, it, it feels tight. I told Dennis at the beginning, it feels tight. It feels like... So it, it needs, the strings need to breathe a little bit to get more ring out of it. Some, uh, like a gauge change might change. Yeah, system. that's another thing. These are ele yeah. nines. I don't yeah. use nines on tellies. I'm a 10 guy for tellies. 11s, okay. at least. And then... But, you know, I mean, everybody, uh, there's a shoe, you know, there's an ass for every stool, as they say. You know, so, but all in all, I have to say, first guitar out, how long did it take you to build this? A year. A but year? I had, yeah. But well, it was, all, <laughs> a, 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 it was a, a learning, a learning process. Right, and a lot of learning. Uh, you know, I would say very, very good. Yeah. You know, very good. I mean, the parrot on the back is great. I like that. What else can I say? You know, it's definitely an 8 and 8 1. I like the guitar. You know what I mean? Um, would I do a gig with it? Yeah, I would do a gig with this. You know, well, usually very I like lighter yeah. guitars only because they're, when you stand all night, you don't want a heavy guitar because you, you know, your back breaks. You know what I mean? Play ukulele. Exactly. Ukulele's <laughs> button. Uh, so, I mean, it plays lovely. Thank you. Job well done, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you. Want to you, ask Kevin. me any questions? Yeah, I was going to say, is there other paces you can put it through? Because you, you, I like the nice bluesy. Well, yeah. I mean, if you like, uh, well, let's see, other paces, like if you were a solo. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Yeah. 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 I mean, it plays really great. You know what else? Is there? So here's where you get that. Sounds really clunky for me. Also, this pickup is not hot enough. Some guys like that 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 slappy sound on the telly. Uh -huh. I mean, what else can we say? You know, it sounds good. But you see, it gets a little louder. It should get a little lower. So that's um, so I got to change the bridge pickup. You're saying? Well. Either that or, or adjust it. Like I said, I'm not a big fan. These are basically humbuckers. This is a humbucker. Right, because it's got the blade in it. Yeah, you know what I mean? I would probably go with a, a Joe Barton pickup. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I use. And, and they're good. They're quiet. I'll and look they, into they, it. They, they maintain the tele integrity sound. Sounds integrity, I should say. So, you know, I like a telly for what it is. But tellies, you know, I mean, like the first Led Zeppelin album and the second Led Zeppelin album are done with a telly. So it can do a lot of different things. And it's, tellies, I mean, if you had to leave this planet, I'd take a telly and a twin or a, a deluxe reader. Deluxe reader. It has a nice, uh, as you go across the strings, it has a nice blend. A lot of flavor. That's really good, Dennis. Thanks, Kevin. And I think by the time you get to your second guitar, you'll 
I got one in the works already. Yeah, Actually, I got you know, two of them. And the more you build them, the better they get. Yes. Until you, know, you reach that plateau of this is how I want everyone to play. Well, I'll make the Allen standard my mark. That's true. <laughs> We don't have a uh, like a tube screamer or anything like that. Uh, um, or is that got a dis Yeah, for me the action. Yeah, it's a little, a little. The action's a little low, or the strings were a little light. But other than that... It, it, with distortion on it, as you go, I mean, it could be the amp, as you go from pickup to pickup, there's not a lot of difference in tone. You know, which usually... That's why I like pickups that are not so hot because they breathe a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That was okay. But these two, it's almost the same. You know, so you, you, uh, in that case, but like I said, it could be the amp. Because this is blatantly just like disguising the tone of the guitar. It's more the amp than the guitar. So, but you know, these guitars, to me, the way I look at it is that if you unplug it, it should ring really well without even being plugged in. Mm -hmm. Which I say this guitar is about a five or a six as far as unplugged ring. You know, when you go to real uh, old guitars like uh, 50s tellies that are in a low weight, mm -hmm. like a telly maybe under. In the seven pound range, I don't know what the weight is. This feels like it's over eight pounds, maybe eight and a half pounds. Uh, when you get into that seven pound range, when you strum it without an amp, the, the guitar is pretty loud without it being plugged in. That's usually an indication for me that the instrument is going to sound well when it's plugged in. So it's a little low in the its own. Um, you got to hammer that ring. thing. Yeah, and this this is a little tight. Good about it is that uh, your cord won't fall out. So that's that. Like I said, all the highs are good. Balance of all the notes. Nice telly twang in the center. So usually with tellies, I constantly I want to hear that difference between every pickup. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of difference. Unfortunately, not with the distortion, but like I said, that could be the amp and the. Sounds great, Dennis. Chestnuts? Chestnuts. Thank you. 
Christmas. I forgot already. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good job, Kevin. <laughs>